I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing a gecko because gecko starts with the letter G. G for gecko. So grab your favorite drawing mediums and let's make some art. and I have come up with a teacher challenge where I challenge you to create art with kids and through this I'm going to teach you how to create this art project and I'm going to give you all the art teacher resources to accompany this art lesson including the lesson plans, the assessment rubric, and all the student handouts. Um, so make sure that you click the link in this video description and join me for this free tutorial. It is a three-part challenge where I'm going to teach you how to teach art to kids. So come and join me, it's a free, free video art lesson and you already have these art mediums in your house, so don't even worry. We're going to be learning how to create this gecko art lesson that explores using line in your background. So grab your art making mediums, click the link, and let's make some art. All right, we're gonna be creating a new drawing today that focuses on the letter G. So we're going to be drawing a gecko because gecko starts with the letter G, G for gecko. All right, so we're going to draw our gecko's head first. We're going to draw a nice curvy line up, back down on the other side. Two curving lines in. We're going to draw our gecko's arms, so two lines, one on either side. Draw your gecko's toes, three toes on either side of our gecko. Two lines down for our gecko's body. Next, I'm gonna do the legs. So first, I'm gonna start with one leg, one line that goes up and down, and on the other side, up and down. Then we're gonna do a second line, up and down, up and down. And we're gonna draw our gecko's toes and we're gonna do three big toes on the back of our gecko. Three big toes on the back of our gecko. Hmm, what does our gecko need at the very back, I wonder? Hmm, oh yeah, we gotta give our gecko a tail. We're gonna start on one side and bring a line down and make a curve somewhere on your page. Then we're gonna start a second one and bring it around. And as we draw it, it's gonna get closer and closer to that first line until they meet together at the very end. We're gonna give our gecko a cute little tongue. Two dots for nostrils. And a circle on each side for gecko eyes. In each circle, we're gonna draw a smaller circle and color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those small circles white. Next, we're gonna add some spots on our gecko's body. So draw circles down your gecko's body to create some spots. And once you're done, you are ready to color in your lovely little gecko. And you can grab whatever colors you want to color in your cute little gecko. So go ahead and grab your choice of art making mediums and colors 
And you can color in your lovely little gecko. once you're done your lovely gecko drawing is done i'm Ms. Cassie, and i just want to say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video if you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now and let's make some art.